Hey guys, welcome back to the Wooden Metal Workshop. I'm Kent. Got a quick little project for a client here today. Have to make up a uh, access panel cover. So I'm gonna show you. This is really simple. You can do this at home. Very few tools required. You need a utility knife, paint and a paintbrush, and some way to cut a piece of wood. Circular saw, jigsaw. I just I cut this out real quick on the bandsaw. So let me uh, get you pointed down here and we'll show you what we're doing. Piece of, this is a eighth inch hardboard. Uh, get it in any of your big box stores. They've usually got it in smaller pieces. This came out of a two by four sheet. That was the smallest one that the uh, box store had. And I didn't have any more of this in the shop. I usually keep some for, for doing this stuff. Usually have some scraps around, but in this case, uh, that's what it is. So there's a little rough edge from where I cut. So just a quick sand on the edges. This is not necessary, but it will make a later step much easier. Then, because this is so smooth and shiny, I like to take my sandpaper and just give it a quick scuff. That's all it's going to take. And I just got some white gloss enamel here. Like I said, we're just doing this with a paintbrush. This is actually going, an access panel for a tub valve, and it's in the back of a closet, so we really don't, uh, not too concerned. Closet's painted white, so a coat or two of paint on here. This is latex, so it's going to dry pretty quick. I like to paint off the edges. That way I don't get uh, a buildup of paint by going this way doesn't scrape it off the brush. Smooth this out a little bit. We'll let that dry and we'll come back and put another coat on it. All right, I went ahead and got a second coat of paint on here. Now this trim, you can find it in any of your big box stores. It's in the uh, plywood paneling section. So what I like to do is just make it a little bit easier is to cut some pieces that are just a little bit oversized. So there's my top and bottom. Just makes it easier to work with than working with a long strip. So the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and put your first edge on and it just slides over the edge. It's a nice tight fit, there's no need for glue. Make sure it's on there really good. So you just line up your edge. I didn't do a good job on this one. So we're gonna erase that. And then you take your square. Sharp utility knife. Backside, it doesn't make nearly as much difference, but
Try to make sure the surface you're working on is clean too, especially if you're painting it white. Anyhow, do the other side, same thing. And for the next one, you can just lay it on here. And mark your length. Wash your hands first if you're doing white. <laughs> Fortunately, this is just for the video. Uh, I already made up the one, you know, got some leftovers, made up the ones I needed for the customer. So I figured I'd just share this after I got that project done. Well, there we go, guys. Another project finished. Drill a couple holes, put in some screws. If it's gonna be screws that you can see, put in some fancy ones. If it's going in a cabinet like uh, the ones I made up did, or inside a closet, then uh, just any old screws will work. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. Don't forget the bell for notifications. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't care. Algorithm doesn't care. Catch you in the next one.